pie! Let's get started! First, what I did is I make this diagonal line that I'm going to like divide it into uh, three parts. But yeah, and this is like half of this part. We make a little circle and we make a big oval and, and again smaller circles on the end. And this small circle on the top is going to be the head of our dove and I divided the circles to make it easier for me to make and to draw the beak so it's in between it's not quite half but it's not quite like lower down so it's in between those next we're going to unify those circles together and we create an outline of the dove no need to worry if you need to make it as many times as you like because we're going to put another, another layer on top anyway so no need to worry about those multiple lines and here it is, we're making the talons of the feet talons I just looked it up today and apparently bird feet is called talons new vocab for me every day and next we're going to make the eyes i'm using a red pencil for this little little circles and then black i use pencils because i want to like have the if you see a dove's eye it kind of have like a not you can't really tell what color is that it's almost like a glowing thing so i, I tried to capture that with a pencil iridescence iridescence oh, i'm going to look it up and next, we're going to add the darker feathers that makes it looks like a collar on a collar dove. It's signature feature of this bird, this lovely color collar dove. They have it on their neck, almost like a collar, and then their wings, and then their tails. And now we move on and coloring them. I use crayons because I think crayons is a very fun medium. And also, it works really well to make a texture, a feather looking like texture. It's fun and it's easy to use. Um, because the color here is uh, supposed to be a grayish white, I'm using a lot of white here, and um, I use also an oil pastel. Oil pastel is slightly more creamier and softer than crayons. Um, you can easily use your hand to blend it, and it has like a really chunky, creamy feeling it's also very fun to use but it's very tricky so it's fun again to experiment and here it is I'm blending it with my finger and then I think we started to lose the color the signature look of the stuff so we're going to edit more color with the gray pencil but here for but this is First, what I did is I make sure I didn't lose the head and the beak that I already made. Do, do, do. Make the signature feature and also don't forget on its wings and also on its tails. You can make these lines to make it almost like feather shape. Chuk, chuk, chuk. And this is the talons again. Ta da! I think we're almost done. Oh, just a little bit of the lines to make it more feathery looking so it's not too white everywhere. and then we're going to cut it because we're going to put our dove in front of our foliage background so first we need to cut it up snip 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 Yep. 
move on to our background and because I want the background to kind of like standing up I need to fold this little part and then this is where our dove going to be perched on yep and let's get started with making the shapes with crayons I use a uh, light colors yellow light green you can use whichever you want as long it has a light color and you can make all the fun shapes you can do a little scribbling and you know fun shapes like dots or lines here it is I'm making like a little leaves that yeah almost look like a star and a little lines over here and there and done and don't forget to color the folded part I use brown because it looks like the color of the twig that my dove will be perched on Next, we add another layer, which is watercolor. And can you see? It's like popping out. That's why it needs a lighter color so it doesn't really, um, you know, mix in with the dark um, watercolor that we're going to use. Here I use dark green and a slightly bluish dark green. And it's very fun to see those colors together all those crayons and all those lines that you've made is going to pop out and make sure to use the right paper that can hold all of those water so it doesn't ruin your beautiful art Make sure to cover all of those parts. Yep, and make another fold to make sure it could stand up. Almost like stand up. After it dries out, obviously. And ta da! Perch your beautiful colored dove into our beautiful foliage background. Enjoy!